I'm happy to welcome to the program Deborah Mum and Zachary Fleming Boyles from Create Center for the Arts. And the center is going to be celebrating and marking a big anniversary, their, your fifth anniversary as a nonprofit. And congratulations to you because it's been a, a tough time for a lot of nonprofits. Man, has it ever. You know, we're uh, very excited about this moment and, uh, and appreciative for you having us as your guest today. Well, it's an exciting anniversary and, and you know, the I and the Desert program is really all about arts and entertainment. And you guys are an art hub. So uh, tell the viewers exactly what goes on at Create Center and what your mission is. Our mission is to create community enrichment through the arts. So it's a it's a really broad spectrum of things that we do there from, you know, we have a class for blind gardening all, all the way up to like master classes in printmaking and and uh, um, we're looking right now to expand our youth programs because there's been a huge demand for that. Oh yeah, well yeah, during the pandemic kids were at home and had very few outlets so it's very important to get them back and re-engage. Zach, this jacket looks like you've spent a lot of time creating. Yeah, you know, art can be a little <laughs> messy, you know, it comes with the territory, you know, but it's part of the fun, you know. But. Absolutely. So what other kinds of programs are you going to be offering? And you said for the reception itself coming up, the center is going to be fully activated and, and, and everybody will be able to come and see exactly what you guys are doing. Fully activated, uh, creative playground. We'll have a bunch of different artist demonstrations. You know, there's food and music. And uh, I'm going to leak something here on Eye on the Desert that Aspen Mills will be opening a location inside our center. So that'll be kind of like their soft opening a little bit too. Fantastic. Now we're looking at uh, some video here of all of the different things that go on and it is a wide array uh, of it, activities. From 3D printing to printmaking to theater, we have a film department, we're installing a black and white dark room right now. Um, oh yeah. There's... Zach, what keeps you busiest over there? Well, you know, um, at the moment we have a stop motion animation class that we have um, uh, that is uh, funding provided by the Anderson Children's Foundation. Um, and, um, you know, our, our goal is really just to make sure that, uh, you know, young artists have access to the tools and knowledge they need to explore their creative curiosities. Uh, stop motion stuff is very time consuming. You have yes. to have a lot of patience for that. Yeah, well it's a three hour class. It's every Saturday and it goes for eight weeks. So we have a lot of time to really uh, just have fun, explore the various uh, mediums that they work with. So it's painting, drawing, um, uh, you know, sculpture, clay sculpture, um, and just 3D printing. All uh, We really just try to explore all the various disciplines that go into making a stop motion animation. Very cool stuff that 3D printing still amazes me. Like, yeah. You can print anything. It's, it's wild. Uh, we want to invite you, the public, to come out for, on October the 13th, uh, starting at 4 o'clock, the 5th anniversary celebration, Community Open House for Create Center for the Arts. Uh, and uh, the number to call is 760-834-8318. CreateCenterCV.org. And tell people exactly where you're located. It's on Alessandro in... Yeah, the Palm address Desert. is Alessandro, although the front of the building is on San Carlos, but it's uh, 73600 Alessandro Drive, and it's, um, if you're familiar with Venus de Fido, we're in the old Venus de Fido building, um, one block east of the new San Paulo corridor. Oh, fantastic. Nice little central location oh, in the Oh, it's terrific. We love it there. Thank you both for being here, and congratulations Thank you. again. Yeah, thanks so much. We'll look forward to celebrating with you.